Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. Today, we're going to be talking about the two new units that were just announced and are finally coming out in Gala, uh, the Gala Remix coming up. It is the Dragon Yule characters of Dragon Yule Lily and Dragon Yule Victor. Um, that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. Forgive me for some of the reading in this. Uh, I woke up real bad and my neck hurts it actually is I'm in a lot of pain even trying to read this so if I make some mistakes forgive me I'm not 100% looking at the information up on the screen I'm, I'm doing my best here but yeah that's gonna be today's video I hope you like it uh, comment tell me how you feel about any of the things discussed here and subscribe to me if you want some more uh, video stuff anyway let's get into it Actually, before we get into it, before we even talk about the units here, this is going to be the main thing everyone will always tell you, so let me start with one thing first. Um, Dragon Yule Lily and Dragon Yule Victor were in the data mines um, that were recently discovered that we think might have the next collab characters. Um, it has been shown and proven that, oh yeah, a alt for uh, Lily and Victor were in the files, so... That kind of basically confirms it. I feel at this point with some of the, with some stuff coming out. I'm not saying specifically in case there's people out there who want to genuinely be surprised about what future characters are coming up, but let's just say for all intents and purposes, I think it's very likely we hear about a collab start of year. So, a lot of people are going to be telling you to skip, and a lot of people are just going to be skipping in general because here's the other thing: Dragalia has become much, 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 much more stinchy. Is that the right word? Greedy? Not really greedy. Miserly. Miserly about how it hands out um, free-to-play cur currency. Uh, so Warmite tickets, it's been on a downward spi downward trend, I guess. It's not a spiral, but it is a trend. Um, and we won't know if they'll ever fix that, just because it's going to take a while for them to get that feedback. I sure hope that they get the feedback and we can get at least daily tickets back or something. But as the way as it is now, no matter what, like, you have to... Every banner, every everything you think about a unit, doesn't matter who they are, look deep inside yourself. Do you love Lily? Summon for Lily. Do you love Victor? Summon for Victor. Are you okay with either one of them? Eh. Maybe you think about skipping. That's like the best... That's unfortunately the way we gotta get into it. So... With that out of the mind, I'll talk more about it later, but let's actually get into what the units do. So first, let's start with Dragon Yule Lily, a Crystallian girl clad in the garb of Saint Starfell, beaming with pride for her homeland. She works hard to spread Dragon Yule cheer, far and wide. Her ability to freeze anything, solid, stands in sharp contrast to her warm burning within. Her warm burning within heart. Oh god. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I, I did like a take back that I, but I, usually when I make a mistake, I do a take back and it hurts my head so bad. <laughs> it hurts. Crystalline magic, shareable six. Restores HP to all teammates, grants them the Crystallian power effect for 30 seconds, and increases their strength by 15% for 60 seconds. Crystallian power grants over over damage based on 40% of the user's strength, and this skill's strength increases the effect will not stack. In this skill's strength increases effect, in this skill's strength increase effect will not stack. Dang, that took a while. Um, overcharges is something they've changed, something that we've, we've had over damage, but they realized too many units use over damage as what they do, so they figured we're just going to call it over damage now. Surprise gift. Consume all Starfall strength stacks and grants the user the stupendous strength effect for 10 seconds. Stupendous strength will not stack and its effect is based on the number of Starfall strength stacks consumed. None increase strength by 20%, 1 increase strength by 40%, 2 increase strength by 60%, and 3 increase strength by 100%. Huh. So um, only the user though. Cover potency to- uh, imagine uh, giving 100% strength to just everyone. Uh, water HP recovery equals strength 8%. If a team member is attuned to water, increase their strength by 8% for 15 seconds. When the HP is restored after activating, this effect will not activate again for 10 seconds. Benefits the whole team. Saints Calling 2, using Crystallian Magic, grants the user the Saint Starfell Lily effect. When this effect is active, the user's next 3-4 strikes will restore HP to team members most in need, increasing that the team member's max HP by 50% and grants the user Starfell Strength effect. Saint Starfell Lily will not stack, but Starfell Strength can stack up to three times. Uh, 
Okay. Heaven Shield 2 reduces susceptibility to burning and stun by 100%. Full HP equals strength 20%. Okay. Um. Hmm. I really need consumes all start with strength and grants the user the spend of strength. Um. So here's one problem. Um. Lily is weird because I don't 100% know. No, wait, let me see. I was supposed to say, does skill one inflict damage? Uh, I guess. She might. She Well, here's the thing about Lily. First of all, she is water, so she do, you can't use this Lily with the old Lily. So that's kind of a bummer. The good thing is, is that she is a healing unit. Um, and as far as I can tell, there's not a lot of healing units in water. I'm trying to think of all of them. It's really just the one five star from what I can remember. There's not a lot of like competition for specifically a water healer. Um, so if you want a water healer and you don't want to use, you don't have grace and you don't feel like using grace, I guess, um, she'd be able to be used. I don't know. Healing units can be kind of weird to judge because it's like, I know attack kitty dudes. They're strong, but well, how do you judge a healing unit? She is able to also buff the entire team, which is very nice. Um, she seems uh, more attack focused, though. Hmm, I don't know. I do like her, but I don't know if I understand 100% how she works. Hmm. It might be the over damage thing that's making me like go, like, how do you even work, girl? Um, let's move on to the next unit Dragon Yule Victor. Victor is the splitting image of Jolly Saint Starfall, as he's- wait. Does Saint Starfall look like Victor? <laughs> I, I, I guess in my mind he looked 100% like Saint- you know what? I was about to say, in my mind, uh, Santa is white, but that's because I grew up uh, watching a lot of commercials with white Santa, so maybe that's why in my head I was always pinch uh, picturing a Saint Starfell being similar, but I'm actually kind of glad that they're like saying straight up he looks like Victor. I think that's awesome. Uh, Victor is a splitting image of the jolly Saint Starfall as he soars through the skies of Dragonbeck, delivering gifts to all the children of the realm. This year, he's flexing his tactical know-how to <laughs> chart a full-speed course to maximum cheer. Okay, so uh, before we get into what he does, I just want to say, no, I'm going to get into what he does. Let's do it. I changed my mind. Uh, candy cane offense, shareable fire. <laughs> it's shareable candy cane offense. Deal shadow damage to the enemy and nearby enemies. Damage to the target and nearby enemies. And dispels one buff from, buff from each of them. All right, not bad. Shooting stars. Deals shadow damage to the target and nearby enemies and deals bonus damage to the enemies in a buff zones created by both the user and other adventurers. Hmm. Defense 15%. Uh, shadow Poison Strength plus 13%. Dual Tide Tactics 2. Using Candy Cane Offense grants the user the Merry Mobilizer effect. When this effect is active, the user's next 4 strike will create a buff zone that lasts for 10 seconds and increases the critical rate of adventurers inside by 15%. This effect cannot stack and will be consumed on use. Blindness resistance 100% um, in a holiday aid too. Uh, using shooting stars while in a buff zone restores the user's HP. Okay. Alright. I actually really like them also in the because it's a gallery mix Cerise is in the banner too, so. Yeah, she's Cerise. So <laughs> back to Victor. Um, I really like the concept behind him. Uh, I love his dialogue, which is like, I may be, I may have blood on my hands, but I'm going to deliver all the presents in the name of Saint Starfell. Something crazy like that. Um, so I really like the design, the, the, the idea behind him, especially pairing him next to Lily, who I think I, I described on Twitter that Lily is like a PBS show host and Victor is a combat, a combat soldier, like the two people that you would never put together. Basically the two different halves of Mr. Rogers, uh, formed into one, uh, person for, I guess, actually unfused. My bad. I don't know. I'm dumb. All right. Um, in terms of what his effect does, I actually kind of like, I think some people are like, I don't know, I haven't seen, I have only seen one other person and he, they thought he was just okay, but I kind of do like the idea of someone who's like, 
and pro chances are there are other units that do this as well but like the more buff zones there are the stronger they kind of get and the more damage they deal uh, especially because when you remember any raid um especially during a raid you'll see like so many people launch like 15 different buff zones at any given point um so i wonder how strong he would get with that kind of setup but i digress I actually kind of like him. I kind of wish I... I got, it's kind of a bummer because I actually do want him. Um, I definitely would prefer Victor over Lily. Just because I already have a Lily on the team. Not that I wouldn't mind Lily though. If I'm being 100% honest. I actually don't have a good healer for water now that I think about it. So I would love Lily. Okay. So that's the two units. I think they're both okay. Um, but here's kind of the big problem here. I don't know if you guys remember Halloween. Um, remember the two Halloween units? Uh, how they were featured on a Gala remix, and then they never came back at all on any banner. That's what I'm afraid they're going to do with these two. So if you don't know this, um, I think I've had to explain it before. A Gala remix is much worse to summon on um, when you specifically want the featured units on it. The reason is, is that apparently due to the increase in rates, it just means that you'll get more SSRs in general. That doesn't typically mean you will just only get the featured unit. It means you'll get any SSR in general. I don't know. I had Lerp explain it to me once. Basically, due to math, it's actually way easier to get a unit on a featured banner um, that is non-rate up than it is on a rate up unit, which is kind of insane to me, but math math is crazy um so i am kind of afraid because i do want to summon for them and i don't want to summon very much but because it's gala remix it really actually kind of makes me afraid um that it will just be super hard to actually summon for them and if i do wait and they show up on a non-featured banner and it's like well now i don't want to summon because i'm currently saving for what i think is potentially coming in the future i don't know it's not a it's not an easy win-win, I guess, in this case. So, it's kind of how a feeling. Also, their event is a Defender event, which sucks. It sucks so much for specifically getting tickets. It is maybe the, the least helpful event in the entire game in terms of actually wanting to get stuff for future summonings. It is the least helpful for that. It's great if you want skill stuff. If you don't care about the skill stuff, and congratulations, you just got a very, 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 very bad event. And it gives you like 20 Wormite for putting in... Oh, I don't want to get into it. I'll stop. But yeah, that's kind of what my, what my current fear is, is that I do kind of want them because they are super crazy limited. But because of what they did on Halloween, I'm kind of afraid that this is going to be the only banner they're going to be on. Now, there is going to be a future coming up dr Dragon Yule banner that features the old dudes. But if it's going to feature the old dudes, it's not going to feature these guys on them. They're going to be on it, but unfeatured. Um, and that's even worse. So I don't, I don't know. I, I really, I really wish they hadn't done what they did on Halloween because it was a really a messed up thing to do. And it really kind of screws up how I'm thinking about these banners in particular. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to do a summon video for the remix, of course, um, cause I do kind of want Victor and I wouldn't mind Lily and I have to just kind of bank on the fact that, I don't think that they're gonna. There's gonna be a uh, non. I, don't, I basically am banking on that this is gonna be the only banner that they're featured on. As crazy as it kind of sounds to me, I really do think that that's gonna be. It's gonna be the case. <sighs> but yeah, that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. Uh, comment, tell me if you're gonna be summoning or not. How interested are you? Did I get anything particularly wrong? If you want to explain to me how. Lily is actually the strongest. I would love to hear it. Um, I would kind of need some explanation of that. Maybe I'm just confused because my head hurts so much. I don't know. I'm going to end this video before I just turns into me talking about my, hate, my hurty head. So until next time, everyone, you guys have a good day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.